Welcome to the first episode of The Session Bassist. In this episode, we're going to go over how to set up your bass guitar. Tools required for the job. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, some Allen keys to adjust the bridge height and truss rod, a tuner and a patch cord. Next step is adjusting the neck relief. Now this is measured at the seventh fret. This can be done by pressing down on the first fret and just after your last fret on the E string. We're going to measure the gap here at the seventh fret and what I like to use as a gauge is just a credit card. So it looks like the gap is a little bit bigger than a credit card so we'll have to adjust the truss rod. Turn this to the left to increase the gap and right to decrease the gap. So I'll remove the truss rod cover insert my Allen key and turn it to the right as the gap is too large. Now this should only be done at a quarter turn each time. Now we'll tune back up, wait a couple hours, check it again with our credit card and make any necessary adjustments from there. The next step is checking the string height at the first fret. It should be about the thickness of a credit card, so we'll try to slide that underneath and see if it fits. Now if you need to make any adjustments to your nut, I would be careful. You can use a, a file to decrease it, or potentially some nut sauce to increase it, but I would leave this up to your guitar technician as it can be quite tricky. Next we'll adjust the string height at the last fret. Now this should be about 7 64ths of an inch for the E and A string, and 664 is for the D and G. Now it's a bit too high so I will adjust the bridge with my Allen key to decrease the height. Turn it to the left. I'll measure it again with my card. This one's a bit thicker than the other credit card. It seems to be okay. We'll finish it up here for the A, D, and G strings. Another gauge you can use uh, if you have one is a guitar pick of the right thickness. For our next step, we'll adjust our intonation. This is done by moving the saddle either closer or further away from the nut to achieve the proper scale length. This is done with some minor adjustments at the bridge. We're going to measure the uh, intonation for our open string. So we'll start with our E string first here. It appears that everything's okay. Now we're going to measure it an octave up at the 12th fret and check the intonation here. So it looks like it's a little bit flat. So if it's flat, we turn it to the left. If it's sharp, we turn it to the right. Now what this is actually doing is it's shifting the position of the saddle to achieve the proper scale length. In this case, it's 34 inches. We'll now tune back up, measure the intonation at the 12th fret, and it looks like we're good. So we'll repeat the process for the A, D, and the G strings. That's it for this episode. Next episode we'll be doing our electronic adjustments which will be pickup height, cleaning potentiometers and re-soldering any bad connections. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.